Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I appreciate your love and support. I do your reading almost daily and I upload your videos right away. So these messages are current. In this reading, we're going to find out for those of you separated from your person, how do they feel about you right now? And this is a general reading and may not resonate with each and every one of you. Sorry, I'm losing my voice. So it sounds a little bit <laughs> raspy. <laughs> Spirits and angels, please show me. How does Pisces person feel about Pisces right now? Pisces person home is in separation. Well, obviously a person thinks about you a lot because you've got the Nine of Swords. Especially at night before they go to sleep, they think about you a lot. They could be thinking about how you're happy right now, Nine of Pentacles here. They may be feeling like you're doing your thing, you're getting, you know, your ducks in a row and that you're happy now with the Nine of Cups. But this could also be an indication Nine of Cups is them wishing for something in regards to this connection. But I feel like it's them most likely, unless roles are being reversed, but I feel like most likely with Nine of Swords, they're stressing out because especially if you've been acting happy and you, you'd like unbothered by this separation because Queen of Pentacles here is in reverse, they feel like you're not invested in them. If you're doing well, Pisces, if you, if you show that you are unbothered or that you're happy without this person, in whatever way, shape or form, your person doesn't like that, right? Nine of Swords. The happier you are, the more stressed out they are. <laughs> the more they think about you. And we've got the Ten of Wands here. So it's been really hard for them to try and move on. I feel like there's just a lot on their shoulders right now. Burden, responsibilities in regards to this connection. Ace of Wands here is in reverse. Yeah, they feel like you're not interested. Or that you may have rejected them. Or that they could be feeling that you do not want to reignite passion with them. Do not want to reconcile with them. Because you're doing well without them, right? Justice here is in one verse. We've got the Seven of Wands. And also we've got the Page of Cups in one verse. They're like stopping themselves from reaching out to you. They're stopping themselves from talking to you, sending you a message. It's a very stubborn energy that I'm getting here. Even though that the Justice here is in one verse. Even though that they know that maybe they didn't treat you fairly in the past. Again, unless roles are being reversed here, but... They know that they didn't treat you fairly, but they are very stubborn. Seven of Wands here. They still stand their ground and don't want to reach out to you with a page of cups here in my verse. But on a down low, they think about you a lot. They stress about you. They worry about you. Or I just feel like Pisces, this whole message, <laughs> this whole reading is like them just not happy that you're doing well without them so the more you're distancing yourself from them the more they're like thinking about you ten of cups here is in my verse they feel like that hope of you know spending the rest of your life your lives together may be destroyed right but ten of cups in reverse can also indicate separation right between the two of you and they're not happy about that so the king of wands is here and the two of swords I definitely sense Pisces, you're dealing with somebody super stubborn, right? Two of Swords. They know, but they don't want to see. They are like trying their best not to see, trying their best not to acknowledge their pain or their fault. Um, they're definitely avoiding that. With the King of Wands, you could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo can be any sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Deep down, they are heartbroken through your swords, right? They think, definitely think about you a lot. And also, got the sun here. The sun can indicate them, you know, constantly thinking about uh, the sadness through your swords, but also the happiness, because the sun is a very happy energy, positive energy. So you got really sad and really happy. So they feel both. I <laughs> hope that makes sense to you. Some days... They feel, they feel positive. They feel like, yeah, you know, the separation is the right thing. 
But then there are times where they feel like, no, I don't think it is. <laughs> I'm still feeling so bad or feeling so sad about it. So there's this back and forth, as you can see through your swords and the sun here, right? So I feel like they're just trying to convince themselves that this this is the right thing to do. This separation is 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 the right thing to do. Like it has to happen for some reason, but they're not happy about it though. This is again a very stubborn energy. Unless roles are being reversed, that they could be feeling you're stubborn and that you don't want to give this connection a chance. Because you are seeking for something else that fulfills you with the Nine of Cups. Again, it can go vice versa, right? Just take what resonates with you. Let's see more. I feel like the way things ended was very abrupt or very ugly, very dramatic. And Queen of Cups here is in love first and the Queen of Wands here in love first. Some of you, if this is the party situation... Your person feels like, well, the way things were exposed, it's kind of hard to salvage this connection. Hmm. They also could be feeling like they lost. If, only if you're in a third party situation, the reason why uh, the separation is because of the third party, they feel like they've lost you and they've lost the other person as well, the third party. If that is your story. If it's not a third party situation, I feel like Queen of Cups and Love first, Queen of Wands and Love first, they're realizing with the tower here that you don't need them, that you don't want them. Because <laughs> Nine of Cups and Nine of Pentacles is here. And you're okay on your own, doing your own thing. And for some twisted reason, <laughs> with the King of Wands here, they like it. They find that so attractive about you that you don't need them, right? Because the king of wands is the king of passion and desire. Let's see more Pisces. Yeah, I feel like you don't want them. You're dissatisfied with them. Four cups here, eight of pentacles and less. Yeah, they feel like you don't love them. Or that maybe both of you. Because we've got the king, the queen and the knight. Both queen and the knight of cups in love first. I feel like there could be some differences in terms of how both of you both of your love languages are that's what i'm getting here if this is nothing new with third party I feel like could be because both of your love languages are very different um you can you can google if you don't know what love languages are like they're different love languages for example it's like some people they feel loved when somebody spends money on them right buy something for them for some people they feel loved when somebody says things to them. Like that's like, what do you call like word affirmation? And then some people, they feel loved when through actions. That means the person who does things for them, like, like cleaning the house or <laughs> washing the clothes for them, or picking them up. So I feel like a person feels like if it's not a third party situation, they may be feeling like, both of your love languages are different. So, hence, there is this chaos, perhaps, the tower. Maybe it could have led to a fight or an argument. The way things ended may have been bad. If it's not third-party info, another group of you, Pisces, maybe it's because of a third-party situation. But, Pisces, whatever the case is, I have to be completely honest with you. They feel good and sometimes they feel bad about you, okay? That's good and bad. Because good is the sun and then bad is the three of swords here. Good and bad, but they're definitely not happy to see you doing well or that you do not need them. All right, Pisces, this is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'll leave you with two playlists on the screen right now. First one says Asia is from my second channel, travel vlog channel. Check it out if you want to. Second playlist is from this channel. It has all of the all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics, different questions. They're still valid readings. They're still new. As you guys know, I post your videos almost every single day. And also, I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Take care, Pisces. Bye.